Hey guys and welcome back to the second episode of The Walking Dead. We got to be a little bit quiet because everybody else is sleeping in the house. <laughs> but that means no rest for the weary in the zombie apocalypse. So we're now back here with Lee and last time we were together, what were we doing, Leela? Uh, we went to Herschel's farm and we got kicked out because we didn't save Herschel's son. Yes, and what's the main protagonist's name? Dude, <laughs> it's Lee. Okay, it's Lee. Seriously, why do you have to pull my strings like that? <laughs> uh, because we can't name this episode, It's Dude, It's Lee Part 2. <laughs> it's already episode 2. You know how annoying that would be if you're in season 2, episode 2, It's Not Dude, It's Lee <laughs> Part 2? Seriously, there are too many 2s in that. In any event, <laughs> let's go ahead and start looking around this gas station or... No, it's not gas station, drugstore. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff you can interact with. So let's go ahead and see what's what. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. <laughs> well, I would think you just don't mess with one that carries a gun and knows how to shoot it. With there? Mm -hmm. A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Yep, looks like a radio to me. Okay, so when does a professor get good at fixing radios? Well, you want to listen to something while you're grading papers. Wait, am I seriously just flipping this thing over and over? Yeah. That's basically what you're doing. <laughs> okay. There are no batteries in this thing. What Wait, now? Seriously? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Wait, seriously? Who <laughs> doesn't know what batteries look like? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? No. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Uh, <laughs> no. Wait, then what were we so... Well, yeah, let's go have a look around, I guess. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. I don't trust him. Then what's the whole point of going out there? It's like, oh, we're we're completely safe, and why are we going outside? Mm hmm. Oh, anyway. Know, weren't there zombies banging on the door just a minute ago? No, they were banging on the sides. Ah. Yeah, I think we should go back inside now. No. <laughs> He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. You know, they actually showed that very well in the first episode of The Walking Dead. I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. That was out. creepy, though. Yeah, I think so, too. We better keep it down out of here. Are you, are you referring to the one that only had the top half? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one's named there. the bicycle zombie. Uh huh. So Better does it show up later? <gasps> Look. Okay. Re read the name tag. Yeah. Oh shit. Pharmacy manager. What? Do you know that guy? Wait, what? What? Kind of he has a familiar face. Maybe. Do I know him? Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. I Oh, uh, you have been not paying attention up. too much. Shut up. Well, actually, I don't think so. No, I was more thinking about bicycle zombies. I'll, I'll Sorry. give you a hint. Look at the uniform. Mm. After we, he could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Sure, poke the zombie. Take That's a always a great idea. It's safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. He has see what I can a find. name tag. Okay, you need to realize that anyone can have a name tag, like, Hi, my name is Bite Your Face Off. It's a pleasure to meet you. No, of course, what he's trying to point out is that we need to make sure that he's the actual guy. Too bad we don't have a way Can you stop selecting talk options so I can actually talk to you? What's going on elsewhere? Alright. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Okay, before you select anything else... Alright, hands off the controller. You're still holding the controller. Okay, now hands off the controller. Happy? Well, in any event, your character's name is Lee Everett. 
Uh huh. Did you see what the name tag said? Uh, pharmacy assistant? You didn't read the name tag, did you? No, not really. It was M. Everett. Uh huh. Was it a boy or a girl? <laughs> For those who can't see, I just smacked my head. <laughs> that guy that's dead right over there. Okay. Can prove that that guy worked here, and then we can so try it's a to guy. The so it's not the my keys. wife or ex-wife well, or whatever. Probably easier your, life, your wife is back in Atlanta. Right. Well, in any event, let's go ahead and start looking around again, since you were so eager to pass <laughs> all the talk options. <laughs> yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay. Right. Look to the left. You still have a lot of looking to the left options. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Good to know. How, wait, I just do a slow pan. Look at the amount of zombies that are just crawling around the screen. More towards the right because now you can't see anything. Look at them all. If this were real life, I would totally be freaking out by now. And be dead in probably three minutes flat. Well, I'd have you with me, so I'd survive a bit longer than that. Or I'd get us both killed. Okay, correction, two minutes flat. <laughs> Alright. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Oh, okay, so I assume that's where we get batteries. Um, Maybe, but it doesn't look like we can do much else in here unless if there's something you missed. Now, you need to slow down your pan a lot because you're just moving. Wait, what about that brick? Can you I do anything? I already tried. I can't reach it. I can't reach that brick. Okay. That was probably when I was yelling at you to stop spamming Ooh. the button. It's a combination lock. No freaking doubt. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Uh, okay, how do you want me to prove the keys are out there, huh? Well, it doesn't look like you can really do that much. Alright. Yeah, might uh, as well head back inside now. Yeah, how? Probably talk to the guy. Okay. Hmm. So, ask him how he ended up here. How did right. you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Uh -huh. What about you? Um, hmm. I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh, friends, family, they around? Family, but it doesn't seem like it. And now, the thing that's going to completely mess us over, I just opened a Dr. Pepper can and now all the zombies are coming for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. I found this remote in the office, I think. What does this do? Explosives? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? Uh -oh. What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. And of course, the first try no is the one that gets it. <laughs> all that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite time. I got them to take notice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somehow this is going to end very badly for us. Well, it didn't seem to work very well because all the zombies just walked away. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like that trap guy is going anywhere anytime soon. Nope. I hope he ended up that way and wasn't a living guy who got trapped and then bitten. Jesus, no kidding. Alright. 
so... Those things like TV. <laughs> or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. Okay, then turn up the volume. I'll work on determining You don't understand. It's behind Boy, sealed glass. Here. Sounds okay, good. Okay, then we threw a rock at it. Really, really hard. I'll work on determining what if... What rock? I... Boy, worked here. Sounds good. Probably the brick that I can't reach. I can't reach that brick. No, seriously, I should be able to reach that. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's like... They should all be able to reach that. Well, maybe you have to go back inside and, and right. find something that can pick it up. All Let's right. head back inside. Okay. I'm guessing we're hearing the static from the TVs. Uh-huh. What if it's that loud? Do you think it would draw more zombies? Alright. Huh. Easter egg hunt. That's timely. The IT guy. I'm guessing that's him. <laughs> uh-huh. So let's... And Madam doesn't know what batteries are. Ooh, what's in here? Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. What we need to do is we... Oh, hey, go ahead Clementine. and talk to Clementine. See how she's doing. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Uh, we can get to know each other after we get her something to eat. Okay. Aw, she's just so cute. Yeah, so now you have to do three things. You need to find pills for Larry, who's slowly dying, by the way. Okay. And you I need to find batteries, up. and then you need to find a snack for Clementine. Okay, is that a food bar, or...? I don't it's know. Much, it could be rat poison, go. for all I know. Thank you. No, I am not giving Clementine rat poison. You took care of Clementine. <laughs> that could be ominous. Okay, now we can get to know each other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm no, fine. No, I'm just nervous just, around uh, little children. Don't mind I'm me. Good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is <laughs> good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Let me know I if you need anything. I think she's annoyed with me. Okay. Best, best pep talk ever. Yeah. So let's go ahead and... Oh, there's another energy bar. Now, the thing is... Can you give this... Who are you going to give this one to? Are you going to keep it for yourself, or are you going to give it to someone else? Give them all to Clementine! Really? Aw, oh, she won't let me give her another one. Okay, I think the IT it's guy it's like, needs something to munch. It's good to take care of the kid. Wait, the IT guy? Yeah. What about the other people? Remember everybody else here? Okay. Clementine, you know, duck. the IT guy, the girl who knows nothing about batteries. Um, okay, it's the radio she didn't know anything about. She knows what a battery is, for Pete's sake. <laughs> hmm. Wait, I can actually give him? No, I can't. You could, well, she'll give it to him, probably. But I wouldn't do that. I'd give it to Duck. Uh, which one's Duck again? Oh my goodness, it's <laughs> only been a week. <laughs> it's only been a week and you've already forgotten who Duck is? Uh, Did wait, no, the little kid, right? Yeah! Alright, where is he? He was sitting on the counter, right? Yeah. And I... Invisible! Aren't those lovely? What's that? Ooh, batteries! Well, you need two. Unless if those are two. Okay. Okay. Well, in any event, I would go find Duck first. Yeah. Alrighty. No. Here's the question, why can't let anything happen to Ducky? I know, hon. So, quickly, before we talk to him, why were you fixated on giving it to, uh, Lily? I was really curious what she would do with it. <laughs> I don't know, eat it like any other normal person? Yeah, maybe. Alright, so, here. It's not much Children to care first. for the boy. Aw, oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Ooh, yeah, let's look at the it's menu. All now. <laughs> oh. Aw. I wanted the malt. Well, even a melted slushy hey, is better than no slushy. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. <laughs> we got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. 
Alright. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? Well, her family's dead, so... That's awful, Lee. Yeah, well... She seems to be handling herself all right. She's just a little girl. Wow. He said she chose the blunt option real fast. That takes toughness. But you have no yeah. idea what sort of emotional no, damage is happening to her bruises. every second her family is uh, gone. Ah, sure. And I totally missed what she said. Um, I Lee, didn't really feel like talking to you. Got a second? Uh oh. Your sure. problems? Sorry. Okay. What's up? <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with your problems, Kaylee. You got a second? Okay. What's up? Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? Okay. How are we supposed to oh. ignore the kid? You gotta Wait, choose an uh, option. We let that boy die. Whoops, wrong one. I know. Wrong button. No. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing oh, his Oh, why face. did you do that? I thought it was the... No, I don't want to ignore oh. him. Come on, hug him or something. Wow. You just failed badly on that quick time I was end. talking to you not reading the options I know my problem multitasking uh -huh. anyone never a good idea in the zombie apocalypse but whatever hey. let's pick up another energy bar so who you're gonna give this one to um probably to the guy I just made feel awful um we just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale we'll please push up the peace offering what about you you no, nobody wants my energy bar. Fine. Oh, door. Remember, you still have the batteries. Yeah, uh. And I can't give any more energy bars to her, so. Well, you're being really selfish, you know that? Uh huh. This battery this should be. This is a zombie radio. apocalypse. Limited Great. food Thanks. supply. And I'm giving food to everybody else. That makes me so evil. Okay, I can't actually give the food to him, so I'll finally give it to her. Here. Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good She's caretaker. She's not a cow. Thanks. Well, how else would you call... I've been taking care of her. I didn't almost let a zombie Well, eater. you're not changing her diaper, are you? No. So you just gave her food and water. So that's a perfectly valid thing. Why do you have to think like cattle? Jeesh. I'm, I'm trying to think in the TV show's term what, what group you would fit in best with. Try to get some rest. It's huh? not the main group, How that's for sure. Those things the dead group would probably be my group, yeah. No. Oh, this is what I mean. You're so... Anatistical, How's it doing? and you take I'm not the down sure view. I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, we got that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Oh, sure, blame me when he was threatening to kill a kid. So you're gonna say anything to her, or you're just gonna leave? What do you think about all this? Not what sure is there to think? To the dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Alright, so, I guess, into the creepy survivors inside place? Yeah, I guess. You still need to find one battery, though. I'll find it later. No, you should leave Clementine with the other adults. Don't take her into a possibly zombie-ridden zone. Who taught you how to take care of children? I can't. He's never had I children. I know, but here. everyone who has been married has thought of children. Ooh, is that a first date? Yes. But he's never had children, so you can't blame the guy for taking care of children. Plus, this is a zombie apocalypse. Luckily, there's nothing I need Taking here. kids is not exactly the biggest importance. Granted, he has Clementine with her, but you gotta cut him some slack. He's never had experience, he's just starting to, and he's doing it in an environment which is 
highly, highly, highly hazardous for kids. Yeah. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Aww. Have He's you heard so from cute. Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alrighty. And zombie. Nope. Are you using going to use that to poke the zombie outside? What zombie outside? There's none in reach. What's that? This is A my long dad's cave. Stick. He zip around Wait, here what? on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> his canes protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Wait, so my dad used to own this store? Okay, whose dad are you referring to now? They just talked Lee's about Lee's dad. Them. Yes. Wait, is Lee's dad the one outside? No. Uh huh. Did that guy look like an 80 year old man? No, he looked like a zombie. They look all the same to me. We ought to clear this door for when we find the case. Oh, wow. So. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? I'm actually surprised that sure. there's another area. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. Everyone just got a case of the munchies. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What are you gonna say? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Mm, Those are good jobs. Parents. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you didn't answer my question. <laughs> All right, a little further. Social studies. <sighs> wow, all that you did was just rotate it. Why don't you want to talk about your family? <laughs> Do they, like, hate you? You are a very perceptive little girl. Not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you Wait, love them, you right? Learn that kids yeah, of hate course. That answer. It just is, is never good enough. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. So what are you gonna say now? You're timed? I guess let's finish moving the desk, huh? Yeah, let's do it. So, did you choose a silence treatment? Okay. Ow! Whoa, Clementine, what's up? Are you Ow. okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Hey, there should be something in the first aid kit. Where was that? Alright. Into the box we go. There we are. Come on, Clementine. Let's get you patched up. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Yeah, she. T Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. So, what was the other option you had? When I Just looked at it first. Her hand, I think. Oh. I thought it was gonna kick her finger. I was like, here, <laughs> let's make it better by no. making it work. 
Ugh. You just give what most boys just Lee? have. The cute. Yeah. I think it's called what cutie. What if my parents come home and go, I'm not oh, there? Oh, so cute. And it's like, okay, can we get onto the zombie gore, please? Anything. Okay, I missed what she said. Lee. What? Okay, you need to talk about it. Uh, uh, I don't think they'll find us. I asked you a question. I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find oh, I think she... Can. I've oh, got my walkie-talkie in case we try that way. Oh, Stay close I thought she was talking about the zombie horde. Okay. <laughs> oh. Alright. Hmm. So let's... Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. Alright, so... Okay. Let's take uh, the key. keys are on no, that zombie out on the, the street. Door. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Didn't we already have a remote? I thought we did. That's weird. Wait, did we just break the game? <laughs> <laughs> I think we just broke the game. It's oh, like, well. here, let's use this remote that I have not found yet. <laughs> Ooh, family photo. Hey, that proves the guy that worked here, at least. Yeah. No. Ah. Uh, Find anything? Why did he rip the photo? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're uh, Lee Everett. Uh, you're a dun, professor dun, dun. at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Wait, <laughs> seriously? Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. I take it that was the wrong answer. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I so we're a group now? I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Wait, is she blushing? No, 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 she's not blushing. Yeah, she's blushing. Alright, so now we need to prove to everybody else. Wait, does she need anything else? Let's give her a candy bar. Okay. I don't think she'll let me, though. Mm. How's your finger? It's okay. It's because Thanks you don't for have fixing any more candy bars. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. So let's see if we can try to grab that cane again. Okay, so do the grab function? Uh, the keys are on that zombie out on the street. I guess we can't use the cane. Yeah. So I guess we have to head back outside because we need to still... Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Cause Lee? I... What? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Ooh. Are you gonna say yes or no? Yeah, he was. And you, you had lied. to protect yourself. That's well, right. I really don't know what oh. happened. So. Okay. Oh. Jeez Louise, Leela. You murdered someone before the zombie outbreak. It was a guy that was cheating with your wife. Uh -huh. And you killed him, and you just told Clementine that he was a zombie. Well... So you just lied to the very... Aww! Girl's face. <laughs> I'm not that high-pitched, am I? Yes, you are that high-pitched. Okay, wow. And if you have uh, to listen to aww every three <laughs> minutes... Hey there. Oops. Oh. This is Glenn, and uh... I'm kind of in a jam here. Hold you not uh, to go little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. 
And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped out at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. But how are you heading out, though? There's no no way out as far as I know. But in any event, we are going to have to end this here. Wait. Aww. Nope. Put the controller down. Stop moving. We okay. gotta end Look, this. Look, he's sad. Please, sad. No, he's just w wondering when we actually get to the uh, action and stop going <laughs> for everything cute. But anyways, guys, thank you for joining us in this episode. Granted, we really didn't get anywhere. We basically w walked around the room in circles and then went to another room, walked more in circles. But in the next episode, we're gonna hopefully s get some more action in there and see if we can save Glenn. Well, in any event, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.